All right, the first thing is yesterday, not that this matters to any of you, but um, you may or may not have noticed that last Thursday or Friday, Shannon Bruggeman, who kind of is the, the director of the campus, she was in here and she was actually observing me. Uh, even though I've got more than 25 years of teaching, I'm new here. So for the first couple of years, she will come in at least once per semester. I have no problem with that. I told her to come in whenever she wanted. I didn't care. She didn't like the way the projector looked. She noticed, too, how it's fuzzy, etc. She wants me to put in a work order, and she said that she found it particularly embarrassing that a, a, an area like IT would have probably the worst resolution she'd ever seen. So I'm going to put in a work order today, and hopefully we'll get somebody over. The problem is the people who fix that have got to come over here from St. Louis. So it's kind of like when they have to come over here for something else, that's when they'll come over here. All right, so that's the first thing. Second thing is you may or may not know this, but this is what comes up for me in the morning. So when I want to come in here and do your, you know do the stuff for the class, take attendance and whatever, I come up right here. Does that make sense? But I also have a thing underneath it that's called work ethic grade. And a couple of you got a hold of me yesterday and said, hey, I looked at my work ethic grade and I got like a 66. I didn't think I screwed up. No. What it is is basically you got the equivalent of a two. I'm not supposed to give everybody threes because then they think you're robots and they think I'm a liar. And I'm just telling you the truth. All right. But what they're saying is if you've got people who go over and above the call of duty, then you can give them a three. But if people are just acting nicely, doing what they're supposed to be doing, etc. All right. And I'll tell you right now, there was one day, it was a week or two ago, I gave Brady a three. Because he helped Dominic, he went over, and he helped Evan. Now, a lot of you work with one another, and you might be helping one another. To be honest with you, this is just one of those things I have to do. This does not go on your transcript. This has absolutely nothing to do with your regular class grade. Nobody ever sees this other than me, and it gets sent to Shannon, and I think to Charles, and I think that might be it. And the only time that it, beget, that, that, that it becomes a problem is when you get a lot of these. So, I mean, if you come in here, anybody can come in here and have a bad day. All right? You know, I, I'm going to tell you this. You don't have to say anything, really. No comment whatsoever. Today is my 36th wedding anniversary. My wife is 300 miles away. So I'm not having the greatest of days. All right? And uh, I can show you if you care. But... Uh, I actually posted our wedding picture out there. It's back when I had hair and sideburns and stuff. But, um, you know, and she's already made her, her little smart-ass comment to me. All right. But, so, I, you know, but, but the thing is, I'm hopefully, I'm not going to be negative toward you. I have never seen that in here where any of you have been negative. You know, I have not noticed that. But what Shannon mentioned to me yesterday was she said, Jeff, you didn't have any of those grades in there. And the thing is, I did, but I have them in a spreadsheet, and I can't link the spreadsheet up with this thing. So I had to, she said, I'll tell you what, just for right now, rather than giving them a grade every day, which I had, she said, just put a maximum grade in there. And, and she even said, most people probably give a lot, they give a lot of tens. I've got to do it every 20 days, so you'll get four of these. So let's just say that one of you, and I won't pick on anybody, but one of you had a particularly rough patch where you were missing a lot, and when you came in here, you were in a bad mood or whatever, and you ended up with like an eight, which, which meant that you were more or less not observed and, and, and in that area. But then the next time, you were you know, in a better place, etc. so you got maybe an 11. So it would average out. Does that make sense? All right. So she said that. The second thing she said was, I have to do a better job, and, and this isn't something that, that so much she wants me to do this, but... We are accredited by something that's called the Higher Learning Commission, the HLC. And every 10 years, they go in and they say, should Rankin Technical College keep its accreditation? Okay? And there, there's, there's different governing bodies that do this, but guess what? One of the governing bodies, and it wasn't the HLC, it was a different one, they're one of the ones who came in and set it up so that um, ITT is no longer there. Right? Because there are certain rules that you have to follow. Well, one of the things that Shannon said to me yesterday was, I think you need to do a better job every day 
of going through and explaining to students when you're lecturing or whatever exactly what it is you're trying to accomplish. Give them objectives. All right, so again, the objective today is to explain work ethic and also go over the um, next assignment, all right, the midterm, and then also talk about this, the, the website thing, at the, and that's not due till the end of the semester. And you've already done most of that, all right? Okay, that should be enough on that. So as far as that, that goes, this is right out of the book, or right out of the handbook. Employers know Rankin is a source of ex excellent employees. Industry leaders know Rankin provides graduates with skills, etc. Employers consistently rank the possession of positive work values. All right, Rankin, since its very inception, has been committed to this. I don't know if you've ever heard this. I found this pretty interesting, and I guess you can go online and find it out. But evidently, David Rankin, who the school is named after, was a multimillionaire who was dying and didn't have any relatives or anybody to leave his money to. So he basically went to the city of St. Louis and said, hey, I got this money and I'd like to, you know, bequeath it to somebody, etc. And they said, have you ever thought of creating a technical college? That's a, in a nutshell, that's how it all happened. But one of the things they've had since the beginning is this idea of a work ethic. And you're supposed to get it in all of your classes. All right. Nope, I don't want that. Okay, so let's see. Let's talk about the midterm. It's the one that says midterm. And if you turn it over, it looks like a big laundry list full of stuff. All right. What you're supposed to do is it's, you're almost going to do what you're doing for the current assignment. But I want you to go out, and if you, if you do Google free PSDs, there are many sites with free PSDs out there. So, for instance, and I can already tell this is going to take longer than 8.15, I'm sorry. But if I come out here and I type in free P PSDs, all right, 2.41 million hits. So I can go here, for example, 5,400 Photoshop files. So let's say that I decided I wanted to use that one. I don't know why, but I did. I wanted to use that one. Then what I'm asking you to do is to come in here, and it says pick a passion. So this should be something for which you enjoy. All right? But I will say, you know, it should be in the, in the realm of good sense. Okay? And, you know, again, what I mean is don't put anything in there because you're going to post it out to iwt.rankin.edu that you wouldn't mind anybody else seeing, including potential future employers. All right? So pick a passion, and I have to sign off on it, just to be sure. Go out and find your own free PSD. Here's one place you can go. There are plenty where you can go out and go. And next, use GIMP, or you can actually download a Photoshop Express, which is a stripped-down version of Photoshop. I think you can even download Photoshop and get like a month-long version of it if you want that. And then when it says cut out all the assets on step C, that means remove you know, make your own copies, so to speak, of the um, image files. All right, you're doing that now. Part D, use said image files and the general layout of the PSD to create your website homepage. Now, when I said general layout, let's, let's say that Amin's doing his, and the one that he chooses has an Arial font, and he doesn't like the way that that looks. He'd rather have a Helvetica font. That's okay. But it should have the same look and feel basically, of whatever PSD you're choosing. And notice you're getting five points just for what you pick. You're getting five points just for your uh, PSD. All right? And you're getting 15 points to cut out the images. So that's already, what, uh, 25 points right there. Then you get 25 more points for laying out your homepage. And it should, again, resemble what's on your PSD. So when you turn this in, you really should have, you know, put it in a folder or whatever, you should have the PSD and your project. All right, you should have both in there, your images, etc. Then as it says, using the header and footer, create a maximum of four additional pages, or a minimum, of four additional pages. On, they can be on anything you want, except one of them, all right, and I guess maybe, yeah, one of them must be an HTML5 contact form. 
So you can create two other ones. They can be an about page. They can be a whatever page. It doesn't matter. If you want to do something totally different and off the grid from what we've been doing so far, cool, then do that. As you create this, it says use one or more external style sheets. You can't use any pre-made templates. This stuff, the stuff near the bottom of the page is all taken from your last assignment, the one you're working on now. You turn it over. What I did was I went through the book and grabbed what I consider to be the 40 most important things that we've gone over in this class thus far. For each one that you put in, you get five points. And I even put down the page number where I got that information from. Any questions on that? Anything that doesn't make sense on that? All right. And that midterm, that will be due, it's somewhere around a week from Friday. I'm not sure when. It's on, it's on the syllabus. All right, the next handout. That was it. Is this portfolio. All right, this is something that is literally due December 19th. Did everybody hear that? It's due December 19th. You've already done some of this stuff. You've already put out, and I don't know if we ever got yours, Evan, but we will, to, to insight are the iwt.rankin.edu. As it said, you should have a home or landing page, an about you, a resume, a contact, and a portfolio. Notice your website will be evaluated on the following criteria. No broken links. You should have a working contact form. All right, that can send email. I'm not that concerned about that. From the HTML portion of the class, you should have examples of your CSS layouts. You should have a link to your bootstrap lab. Excuse me, and you should have the midterm. You've either you've done some of those already, you're working on some of those now. All right. Then eventually when we get to the JavaScript, you will have some code and some live examples from the JavaScript labs. All right. And functions, etc., and examples of some of the stuff that we'll either do in class or that you will be assigned. Okay? Now, it says on the bottom, completed client website projects. What I'd like you to start doing, like you to start doing, is start thinking. You know, maybe you've got a friend, a relative, a significant other, a whatever, that you could do some website work for. Either you could modify an existing website or create a new one. And again, it doesn't have to be, it's not going to be Amazon. You don't have the time to do that. You probably don't have the training thus far to do that. All right? So that, again, this thing right here, and I'm not even sure of the point value or, or whatever, and I, I guess some of it's marked here, 15 points for that, 5 for each of those, 10, 15, etc. And this completed website project, if nothing else, just go out and take your portfolio and make it professional grade. All right. So if Eric is going out to apply for a job and they say, do you have an example of your work? He can give them the electronic portfolio. Does all that make sense? All right. Any questions on anything that we just went over? And because I sort of promised it, that's my wife. That's me with hair. All right? Yeah, people, wow. It doesn't look anything like you. It's like when people hear me, because I karaoke, when they hear me sing, because I've actually got a falsetto voice, and I can sing unbelievably high. And I've had people say, you don't sing anything like you talk. And I said, yeah. And they said, yeah, you sing really well, which is like a really bad, backwards compliment, I guess. So it says I really talk not well. All right, but whatever. All right. Well, that's today, or that's 36 years ago. And remove that and that. And if she knew I was showing you this, she'd be mad as hell. But all three of my daughters are adopted. That's my oldest daughter. That's my middle daughter, who's from Columbia, South America. That's my youngest daughter. That's my wife, who's being hidden by a file. She'd probably like that. All right. So that's 36 years later. All right, so that's it.
and no one had any questions, so the rest of the period, sorry I took till 820, is yours. Tomorrow, lab all period, okay? Uh, you've now, I've now gone over this with you, so tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday will be labs the entire period. Everybody got that? And I believe that if we look at the um, syllabus, I believe also most of next week is, if not all of next week, is lab all period. So you should have, hopefully, you know, how much time do I have, you know, people say to me, how much time do I have to work on this outside of class? I don't know. All right? Everybody's different. With some of you, you won't need any time outside of class. Well, I can't find the darn syllabus now. Still is in here someplace. I know it is. All right. But I know the rest of this week, okay? I know the rest of this week for sure is, um, is lab. There we go. So we are at 1011 lab today, lab tomorrow. Okay, I made this thing do Friday, the project you're working on now, and you can turn it in until Friday night. I don't care. In fact, you can turn it in until midnight Friday night. All right, but I, as long as you promise that you won't uh, text me or email me and say you screwed up my weekend because I, no, no, I didn't. All right, then next week when you come in here, well, so we've got what, this the 13th, so that's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are labs. Next week, Monday is lab. Next week, Tuesday is lab. Next week, Wednesday is lab. All right? And then next week, Thursday, I think. I think that's Thursday. 12, no, that's next Friday. So Monday through Thursday of next week are lab. And next Friday, we start on the JavaScript part. I don't want to deviate too much from that because we're, we're in a tight enough thing anyway. But you'll have five days of lab this week and four next week. All right? I'm, I'm done talking.